everybody. Happy Tuesday. It's Henry. And I'm Chuck. Uh, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to talk quickly about some email settings and a possible troubleshooting situation for all you Outlook users out there. Especially if you've got a new uh, laptop, a new workstation, you could run into this. So what we're going to do to check our email settings is pop on over to our user location settings. Located in a couple different places, but I like this one in version 1 right here. Once that's open, we're going to head on down to email settings, and everything you need is right here. Now, uh, at the top, we've got three um, situations, three radio buttons here. Um, you can use SMTP, which we recommend most of the time because you're going to get the least resistance and least uh, amount of possible issues resulting from it. Um, it takes a little more setup time, of course, to do your server name, but you ought to also have to set up your Outlook to do anything else. We're going to use the Outlook, though, because a lot of people like that. They like to see their emails popping out and popping in and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So um, what we're going to do is, once we've selected this, we don't need to configure anything else here, actually, if we're using Extended Mappy. All we need to make sure, Chuck, is that we have a local installation of Outlook. Correct. So let's do a test email. Skilibop. Skilidoo. Oh, uh, oh, no. no. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> basically, basically, this is um, uh, a cross bitness error. Chuck, can you elaborate on that? Okay, so basically this cross bitness error that we're getting means that either we have a 64-bit version of IndieSoft and a 32-bit version of Microsoft Outlook, or vice versa. So one way or another, they're not matching up. They're not in the same program files directory. And an easy way that you can check which case is which is if you go to Outlook. Oh, I've already got it open here. Well, let's close. Let's, let's get out of here. I want to show them how they can open this up. Do it, man. So from your Outlook screen, you go to File, Office Account, and then you make sure you're showing your additional license information. Scroll down, About Outlook which a dialog will pop up, and it will tell you that you are in 32-bit or 64-bit, depending on the scenario. I see here that we're in 32-bit, so that must mean our IndieSoft is in 64-bit. If it was 64-bit, that would mean our IndieSoft was in 32-bit, and we were getting this error. So, the reason you need to know which case is which is because in order to fix this, you actually need to run a command prompt as administrator, and there are two different commands you can run, and Henry's going to show you what those are. Again, real important that you do this as, as administrator, and this is workstation specific. This is not for everybody. If you're an admin, this is, again, workstation specific. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, if I pop on over here, you pop on over here, and uh, we go over to our notepad. I took these here. Um, these are, the, these are the commands that you can actually run from that window. So uh, this one up here is if you have a 64-bit uh, installation of IndieSoft, and this one down here is if you have a 32-bit installation of IndieSoft. Since, since we have a 64-bit, we're going to run the first one. I'm going to do a Control-C because the command window really sometimes doesn't like the right-click copy and paste option here. Um, do we still have this open over yes. here? We do. That's good news. And then we're going to press the old control V, and we're going to run it. And hot dog, hey. that means it's a success. Now, it's not going to tell you anything, but it's just going to basically do exactly what that does. There's no congratulations or anything, you know. Um, so we're going to minimize this, and we're going to see if the proof is indeed in the pudding. Well, we'll just get rid of that second here. And uh, so we'll test the email again. All right, cool. Anyway, just a quick one. We get a lot of those issues coming our way, so we thought we'd show you in a little video form something uh, something for the fellows, something for the boys and girls out there. Mm -hmm. Have all a great your Outlook users. Yeah, all, all y'all. Have a great rest of your week, y'all. We'll talk to you soon.